Hi, I'm David out of this World Home Services. And what I find is a lot of people don't really understand how their plumbing works. Only that they turn their tap on and clean water comes out. Or they flush the toilet and it goes away. Well, today I'm taking you on a tour of your home's plumbing. Right now we're outside the house. And every house requires pipes that take water into the house and carry the wastewater out of the house. In our particular region, our pipes are in the ground and they're six to eight feet down. What I have here is a marker and a device for our city to allow them to turn the water on and off to the house. So in there. This particular cap here identifies what again is in our region called an adaptive valve, which is a backwater valve for stormwater. And the way this works is that in case there's a massive rainstorm, a big flood going on in the area, then a device can be put in here to stop the flow of water from getting into the house and causing the basement here to flood. So let's look at how the system works inside. Where I'm at is the point where the water comes into the home. This is one of the most critical points in your house as it holds the main water valve. And this valve is critical for shutting off the water should you have a burst pipe, a leak, or you're doing a renovation and need to have the water off for any reason. So in this case, this one has a little cover, which we take off and I can get my hand in here to touch the valve and turn this water off. Right above the valve, which you can't see at the moment, is the water meter and this is the spot where the city will measure how much water you've actually used in your house. When water comes into your house, it is cold. Well, the water comes from their main valve and one of its first spots is to come through your water heating system. In this case, we have a tank. This particular unit is a gas powered water heater. There are electric units available and you can also find there are tankless water heater systems available depending on your needs or size of home. Not every house has the need for a sump pit. In an area where there's known to be high water table or water issues, you might well find that you have a sump pit in your house. And a sump pit for the most part will look like this. There are different styles around and more modern ones actually have a completely sealed lid on them. And that's for radon. Sump pumps are here to take excess groundwater away and stop them from flooding through basement floors or through a floor in a high water area and discharges the water up through the pipe behind me here, out through the house and away. The bath and shower is probably the most used fixture in the house and the most appreciated for a hot and cold water use. The valve here actually allows piping, which we can't see, coming up in the wall and it physically mixes hot and cold water from these taps in behind, which then comes out of the spout or from the shower valve above me. All of this stuff is done with the components built in behind the wall. And in a lot of cases, these can't be accessed very easily by the plumber. So for any repairs that might need to happen, we might need to either come in from the wall behind, if that's possible, or open the wall here to make any repairs. Here we are under a double bowl kitchen sink. What we've got behind me is the drain piping connecting the sink going down into the rest of the drainage piping. And in this situation, there is a trap under the floor. I have two water lines here that hot and cold are coming up and feeding the faucet. And due to the style of faucet, I have a sprung loaded connection here because this particular faucet pulls out. Back here, I have a spot where the dishwasher drain itself now connects in. And then my other little piping thing off the side here is actually a clean out. And the clean out is a portion of the piping that the plumbers would use should there be a blockage in the drain line that they can run a cable down through to clear that out and restore flow. A big point here is that although I have a trap under the floor, it is also extremely common to find there is a trap right here in, in this setup. And so a trap is a U-type piece of pipe 
and its job is to hold water in the U, which stops sewer gas coming back up through the drain piping out into the sink and up your nose, which is not very nice. The trap can also catch things like earrings, rings, uh, any other jewelry that might fall down a drain, not usually in a kitchen sink, but it can happen. And that's the makeup of a kitchen sink. Every house has a delivery point outside for watering the garden. And for this house, we have this outside faucet. This particular style is an older one and referred to as a sediment faucet. There are a number of different styles and currently what's required are ones with a vacuum breaker on which stops the potential for say weed killers and lawn fertilizers getting sucked back in the house with the hose. We recommend using the Woodford 19 valve. It is a frost free style which is a much longer valve and has a, a built in freeze protection aspect to it so in the cold winter months it doesn't burst pipes in the house. That concludes the home plumbing tour. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or would like more information, please give us a call.